It's a great rocker. <laughs> Welcome to another Rider Cam TV, and today we're going to be talking about the jackets that we wear. Um, we both wear rocker, don't we? We do. Uh, There's a reason, reason for that. Well, because it's great. I can't think of a word that is great that begins with an R. Try brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> but rocker's really good. It's really expensive stuff. I think these jackets retail at about £1,000 each, don't they? They're horrendously expensive compared to other makes, but they're really, really good value for money, aren't they? It depends what you want out of a jacket, doesn't it? I mean, I spent years and years and years going, oh, I can wear an extra jumper, I can wear this, you know, I can go out with a Gore-Tex jacket or, uh, you know, a cheap Gore-Tex jacket or something like that. But when it comes down to it, you get what you pay for. And there are some really good um, jackets out there. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, textile jackets, um, leathers, all that kind of stuff. But weather is the problem. If you live in England, it's either windy or wet every day, pretty much most of, most yeah. of the year. If you Part ride the day, don't look out the windows. <coughs> Excuse me again. If you ride all year, you want something that's going to be pretty much bomb proof. Mm. And I've got to be honest, I'm two years into this Rucker stuff now, and it is absolutely brilliant. I have the um, Armaxis. Armaxis trousers and the Armaxian jacket. They don't do Armaxian trou uh, mm. trousers, but that's not, a, not an issue. They come with all the, um, the usual padding that you would expect from a high quality jacket. Well, and talking about that padding, that padding is E30 padding, and it's the padding... Where do you know that from? Well, because I'm a bit of a geek. You know that? You've got a camera, well, I look at the computer and look at the phone as well. <laughs> yeah, and it's got some D3 armour. It's got the shoulder, uh, the elbow, the shoulder, the back, all D30. And what that means is that, that armour is really, really light. It's really, really flexible, as you can see, you can flex it, but on an impact that immediately hardens and takes the impact of that, therefore protecting as best that you can what's underneath it, i.e. you. And then as soon as that impacts over, it releases itself and goes really, really soft again. So really, really good stuff. But even when the jacket's wet, it's not heavy because it's got that armour in there because it's really light. I'll be honest, I had um, a textile suit before I bought this from a well-known German company. Oh, uh, I think I had the same one. Which is absolutely brilliant. My only issue with it was the outer part of it wasn't waterproof. Mm. So the outer part got soaking wet. The inside membrane, as long as you had it in, was completely waterproof. And for that reason, it was very, very good. However, you spent the whole day walking around in a soggy wet suit yeah. until it dried out. But, like you were saying, over here, that applies to us, but when I went over to Innsbruck, 35 degrees, wearing that suit without the insides, it was like not wearing anything at all. Yeah, it was really good. So you've got to pick where you, wear, where you live and where you're going to be riding, isn't it? Exactly. And, you know, Gore-Tex, if it's worn correctly, we've already spoke about Gore-Tex not, not reacting well with heated grips and things like that on your motorbike. Yeah. Um, Gore-Tex is fantastic, and it, mm. the, this jacket, I've worn it in some horrendous weather, and you're still dry inside, and I really love that, uh, about, yeah. about the, the way it works, you know? So, so for my, me, very expensive, God, it's worth it. Oh yeah, my jacket's an R, R mass, R mass S jacket, so there's slight differences. Mark's got things like magnetic pockets, I've got zipped pockets, but what I liked about this one is that the whole of the zip, on the main zip and on the pockets are all waterproof. Yep. So the downside is that I've got to put some of that silicon grease on there every now and then. But other than that, it's totally waterproof. I've been in downpours, literally, we've had some really great, some really great weather for ducks in Cornwall recently. And this has never, ever let me down. But the differences between Mark's and mine, and I'm really envious about yours, is because yours isn't just one jacket, is it? Mine's just a jacket with padding inside that I can remove if it gets a bit hot. But Mark, now Mark's got the Gucci Gucci kit. He's got everything in there, haven't you? Inside this comes with a windstopper fleece jacket that unzips out really simply. Um, and it's a jacket you can wear out at night, you know, so if you want... It's like soft style, isn't it? Soft well, it's, wind, it's windstopper. So if you go out, if you travel, you know, you stop for the night, 
This saves you taking a fleece jacket down yeah, with you. Um, and it's got enough pockets in it. People well, jackets have. Well, this has got two pockets in it. The jackets yeah. only have two waterproof pockets in them, in my on my jacket. Yeah. Uh, and they're actually quite small. Uh, you know, you can put um, a telephone in, in them. Um, so the reason for that is, you know, the more pockets you've got in a jacket, the more holes you've got in it. So, yeah. you, know, it's, you know, it's a compromise all the time. These jackets are made for cold climates and they're not the best ventilated jackets in the world. However, that said, you can still hold the jacket together with, you know, Velcro on the top and the bottom. You can unzip it, you can adjust the sleeves with a, with a pop, yeah. pop studs. Um, and I wore it this uh, last year in down in Dubrovnik and it was baking hot. Um, with just a Halle Hansen uh, top and uh, Halle Hansen tights on underneath, so you don't feel yeah. sweaty or anything like that. And they're really good. Yeah, and, and I think they look really good as well. They look like you mean business, which is, you know, lots of people worry about what they look like. But there's little bits on these that go far over and above lots of other jackets. Yep. So when you're right, when you're putting it on, this sleeve bit folds back. So your arms through it, you put your gloves on and then put that over your gloves and zip it. So not only are you not getting water dripping down the front into your gloves, but when you're riding, it's not blowing water up inside your arm either. They, they've really thought about those, di di those bits of things. Now you, with your neck brace, see the previous video, you like, you're not worried about stuff around your neck, but I had to get this altered because this was too high, the neck was too high, it's stuck okay. in and I've got quite a sore neck. Well with this jacket you get a cowl that actually zips on around the back um, and you know you can buy those cowls that you can see from you know from motorbike shops and things that come around here and they velcro on and everything. Well this one zips in and has a press stud that goes at the front there. Mm. It comes up to just under your chin which means it fits inside your helmet um, and even with my neck thing on it's not an issue. Um, see I've, I've got one as well, it comes with this. Um, but I couldn't get on with it. It stays in a in a cupboard at home. I don't even wear one. I don't wear anything around the neck at all. It's that and my helmet. Okay. Well, I, I love it. Not another even a ninja hat. <laughs> another thing I like about this, I don't know, is it going? Yeah, yeah. I've got one of those. That's a crutch strap. Now you might wonder what you know. What's the point of all that is? But basically, this is a strap. It's the function of crutch here. Comes it comes <laughs> around the bottom of the jacket. Can go underneath your jacket, and just holds it all down nice and tall. There's also a zip that zips into your trousers and mirac miraculously mm. it's really simple to do like a yeah. lot of them are real yeah, fiddle not kind of fighting here it's nice big chunky really zip and it pulls it in so if you're out riding in really cold conditions you know all, all the heat is going to be kept around your core which is what you're after anyway yeah the only thing the only thing that i kind of don't really like about these is the amount of pockets i know you can't get a huge amount of pockets but we both come from different suits from another well-known manufacturer that have pockets everywhere <laughs> they, they weren't short of pockets the trousers we've both got the same trousers but they only have one pocket and that one pocket's on the right hand side and you can kind of fit a box of matches in and that's about it which is why we've gone for our little man bags isn't it or our five pouches so yeah. check that video out up there see our top five but that's the reason why. I will just turn this over. In the European Union now, there are certain rules on how much high, uh, reflective stuff you have on your suit. Yeah. And this ticks all the boxes for it. And it is really, really efficient. All the stitching that goes into the jacket is reflective as well. So um, the, the jacket I mean, it lights up like somebody's going along with a torch, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very good. really, really bright. Amazing jackets. Perhaps what we'll do is perhaps we'll do uh, an in-depth review of each jacket and stuff at a later date but we just wanted to talk a little about a bit about rucker because lots of people have been asking what we wear rucker is the way to go it's expensive but if you're riding the bikes as much as we're riding all over the world and all over the uk you need something that's really good and light and i've never had an issue with it and you've had, just talking about that you've had an issue with yours and the good thing is that these have got a six-year guarantee, haven't they? Yep. Uh, I got mine from Motor Legends in, uh, based in Guildford. Um, brilliant people to deal with. Absolutely no problem. Um, uh, it's too big for them. And when they took my jacket away, the jacket actually, the zip, was just a faulty zip at the bottom here where, where the actual goes into the zippy bit, if you want. That's the technical term. It's in the um, zippy bit. I sent it back to them by return of post, but 
as the post before it went back, they provided me with a, with another jacket. Yeah. It was a basic jacket. I mean, I wasn't going to get like for like. And but I it was a rucker basic jacket. It was a rucker it? basic jacket, which took me through a winter and a trip down to Slovenia uh, and through Austria and Germany in some horrific weather. Um, but they'll do the same with the trousers as well, you know. So if you do have issues, you can sort of sit back and think, I've got no reason to argue with these people, you know, because they're just going to sort me out and help me out, which is brilliant. You know, how many manufacturers do you know that's always a problem? Oh, you know, it's a malfunction of your, of your, of your making. The way that you've worn it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I've worn it back to front for two years, you know. It just doesn't happen. Rucker would just go, yeah, send it back to us and we'll get it fixed. And the zip came back immaculate, which you would imagine. Yeah. And if I touch wood, I've had no issues with it since. And I really, really do rate the stuff. Mm. It's expensive. You get what you pay for. Yeah. If you spend a long time on your bike, it's worth paying. It. Yeah. And it's comfortable. But if you're going to go and buy a set, I guess both of us, depending on what you think, go and try some on first. Because the sizes, you know, places sell different stuff at different sizes. Everything's different despite them looking, working to the same, the same frame. But I did find that in the other suit, I'd have a 56, whereas I'm a 54 on this because it's a better fit. So you're spending a lot of money, go and have a look, try it on, and make sure that you're going to buy the right one before you buy it. Yeah. We haven't discussed the trousers because the trousers are exactly the same as the jackets. Um, only that they've only got two things and you put your legs in. There you go. go. The An issue with the trousers is only one pocket, yeah. but they're really comfortable to wear. Again, when I wear in hot countries, I just wear a pair of Hal Hansen uh, legging thin legging tights on them mm -hmm. you don't feel sweaty it is better than just wearing you know having bare legs underneath yeah. the short the trousers if you want um because the sweat gets whipped, whipped away from your body but they're really comfortable to work comfy to ride in all day and if you've got to walk about in them then they're fine as well yeah and they're nice and light so that's a big thumbs up from rider cam tv for rucker really Rucker and Rider Cam TV sounds like a bit of a partnership could be going on there. I hope so, because it's once replaced. Yeah, I'm we're all together. together. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. thanks very much for watching our video and talking about these. So if you like that video, give it a massive thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down there somewhere. And we'll see you in the next one.